Hey, I'm Hester from Hester's Handmade Home and today I'm going to show you my latest video as painter in residence of Annie Sloan and it's how to paint this hexagon notice board on your wall. This wall is already painted with Annie Sloan wall paint and it's the colour Paris Grey. To make the painting even easier I made a template and my hexagon had sides of 20 centimeters long. Just threw this out on a piece of old cardboard and cut it out. I then placed the cardboard on the wall and traced it with a pencil. You see the pencil lines very faint here on the video. But yeah, once the first hexagon is on, you just line the template up again and trace the second hexagon. And you keep doing this until you have all four hexagons on your wall. I use little pieces of tape with the names of the paint on just to make it easy for me. And then you're gonna use tape to tape the outside of your first hexagon. When the tape is in place, you can apply a first coat of paint. You might actually only need one coat of paint, but have a look to see how good uh, the coverage is. And once you are happy with the coverage, you can take the tape off. Do this while the paint is still a little bit wet, so you get a nice and neat line. This first hexagon is painted in the color Original, that's from the Annie Sloan wall paint. And I also used Antoinette Graphite and Abusson Blue. And you just keep going the same way. Once the paint is slightly dry of your first hexagon, you're just going to tape the outside of the second hexagon and you're going to paint it again until you're happy with how thick the coverage is. Take the tape off and start on the next hexagon. And with all four hexagons painted and dry, it's time to add one lettering. And you can do this by hand, but I find it a lot easier to use stickers. And I use these really nice gold ones I found in my local craft shop. You can write whatever you want, but I use the words to do, and one of the other hexagons got the words ideas. And I really like this just to put some uh, scrap piece of paper on, also notes, and of course my to do list. Now it gets taped on this Antoinette pink hexagon. The white hexagon got a bit of a 3D effect by hanging this wooden hexagon I've previously made and I'll put a link to this on my website. But yeah, then it's time to start decorating. I put a few plants in the wooden hexagon and to-do list and my ideas got stuck on with washi tape. I also put some photos on the other hexagon, some old uh, childhood pictures and a really cute one of little Kermit. So there you go, a super handy memo board, hexagon style, all painted with Ellie Sloan wall paint. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a look on anniesloan.com for more of my painter in residence DIYs and for the products that I used. And have a look on hestershandmadehome.com for more of my DIY ideas.